am here from Aunt M's Quilt and M's Scrap Bag, and today I'm going to show you how to do a quilted granny square block like these. And these two here is just on point. Um, I'm using two and a half inch strips. I have my die cutter, and they come in jelly roll strips. And because I don't like to cut, I'm going to use stuff that I don't have to cut so much. Anyway, and then you're going to want a regular ruler and the essential triangle ruler. Thanks for watching my video. Remember to like and subscribe. All right, let's get started. Okay, for the center of our granny square, we're going to want a two and a half inch square. So I open my strip out and I just cut one. For our first round, we're going to want four. So I leave my strip folded. So I only need to make two cuts. And then I cut four two and a half inch squares. And for my outer ring, for the second round, I'm going to need eight. So once again, I'm going to keep it doubled. And I'll make four cuts so I have eight. And then for our background, I'm going to leave this doubled. And I'm going to use my essential triangle ruler. And I'm going to start. with a half square triangle. So I'm going to get two because I am leaving my fabric doubled. And then I'm going to turn it and use the flying geese and I need eight of these so I'm going to make four cuts. And if you want to make your blocks bigger or smaller using different size strips, you'll just use the same strip size. Or you'll so if you want three and a half to go bigger, or if you want one and a half to go smaller, you'll just use that cutting measurement on the essential triangle ruler. All right, and then just cut your squares accordingly. And once I've cut my eight quarter square, I'm going to go back and I'm going to cut two more of the half square. That just leaves me with a straight edge every time and it gives me no waste when I cut the um, quarter square out. So just a little tip there. Then to arrange our granny square, We'll put our center in the center. Here's our first round. There's our second round. Then the flying geese units, the quarter square units, go here. And our half square units go here. And we're going to sew on the diagonal. So we'll sew this as a row, this is a row, this is a row, this is a row, and this is a row. And then we'll sew our rows together. Okay, then if I press, I'm pressing toward my second row. That's my darker fabric. And here I've pressed toward that row. 
so that when I put these two together, my seams will butt and it will go together nicely. Then for our center row, we're going to press to our um, second round and then so this will press to the second round and then we're going to press to the center so that when we put these two together once again our seams will butt okay now yeah, that works once we get our rows together it looks like this and we're just going to square it up makes a nine and a half inch block all right and there you go a quilted granny square block have fun rinse repeat if you're worried about your points matching up as you put squares together a little trick is just put sashing between them and it still makes a really cute quilt you can also just go totally scrappy with two and a half inch squares or three and a half or one and a half depending on what size you like to use. But I would suggest that you keep rounds in a color family or else you'll lose the, um, the pattern. So that's an option also. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.